time to have a little fun with today's Is This Anything? Ooh, look at them looking like pure sunshine. <laughs> Hammer and Nigel joining us now. Look at you guys. Okay, what, Nigel, what's that shirt you are wearing in particular? Uh, well, this, this shirt is because I lost a bet to a, <laughs> a coat. To a co-worker here at 93 WIBC, our producer of the Hammer and Nigel show uh, is also a semi-pro wrestler, and this is yes. his alter ego. Mm. So I lost a bet. I had to buy some merch from his shop. <laughs> um, Mega Mondo is his name, and uh, half human, half gorilla, and Nigel got stuck having to buy some of his swag because he lost a golf bet so to Rob was, Kendall. There was this this underground amateur wrestling uh, scene in Central <laughs> Indy, and so I am having to wear this to work today, and this is our producer. You can tweet at him here. Yes. yes. Look at him. Wow. Okay. That's impressive, the bell. I've met and him And I'd like to point out, oh, yes, dude. his gimmick is that he's half monkey. <laughs> <laughs> We love it. Hey, you wear it well. That's you the both deal. looking good. Let's dive right in here. The first story is crazy. A family in Louisiana instantly became billionaires with a B after a banking heir. Now, unfortunately, uh, they didn't get to keep all that money too long. Big Nige, <laughs> is this anything? It's something because the family notified, I think it was Chase Bank, right away that there was an heir. There was an extra $50 billion with a B in yeah. their family's account. I'm wondering, here's, and, and you know, kudos for the family for doing the right thing. They didn't spend any money. They notified the bank right away. It took them four days to get that money out of their account and back uh, in with the bank. I'm wondering if it would have been possible for somebody more a little unscrupulous, shall we say, to take a little bit of that money, a few million dollars, transfer it somewhere, and then just disappear for the rest mm -hmm. of their lives. No what, to be that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> would that have been possible? I mean, of course, I, you would, they would probably get caught, but man, it took them four days after they found out that the cash was in there mm, to, yeah. to get it out. I'm wondering if they wouldn't have notified anybody, could they have like laundered the money or sent it to a yes. Swiss bank account and <laughs> disappear? I'm on it. I'm getting a yacht. I'm hightailing it out, and no one is finding me. Sorry. I feel like they right. did, they deserve something. Just yes. for the air. I like, think so. I mean, come on. At least a mil. Come yes. on. Yes. One cool million. <laughs> okay. And how well, is it that billions of dollars takes four days to figure out? But if I'm late on one credit card payment, <laughs> I've you. got the mafia chasing me down and calling me 50 times a day. Yeah, you didn't right. pay your $30. You are in trouble. Okay. Right. <laughs> well, in honor of the 4th of July holiday, one long Time brewer is helping make beer runs a little less frequent. We all know this, right? We're having a good time. We run out of beer. We got to decide is anyone good to go get more? So they're making a huge pack of beer. Hammer, is this anything? <laughs> Yes, this is absolutely <laughs> something. And what we're talking about is the fine folks at Paps Blue Ribbon. Yes. PBR, PBR, baby. <laughs> and yes. some people can get a six pack. Some people can get a 24 pack. There's even such a thing as a dirty 30. What PBR is doing now, because they care so much about America, they have a 1776 pack, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Slow clap. That deserves a slow clap. 1,776 cans of freedom available for you to drink when you're setting your fireworks off. This is amazing. This is everything. And the only way that I could feel more patriotic is if I stood up on this table, squatted down, and gave birth to a bald eagle. <laughs> really wondering where you were going with that oh, one. Man. <laughs> I kind of wanted to sit here and wait for it, but okay, we got to wrap up. You guys are amazing. We'll catch you tomorrow for Friday. Thanks so much as always.